just going to check to make sure everything's going all right. The stream's starting. Oh, there we go. Just going to check to make sure. Yeah, it seems like it is. I might be a little loud. Yeah, it seems like it is. Oh, it's it's repeating a little bit. I don't know. I may be a little loud. I might not be a little loud. I turned it up just a little bit more from last time. We, we adjusted the volume from last time, so hopefully I'm not, again, blurring. Now, I guess if you jumped a few videos, I just, gradually, as time has gone on, <laughs> it's been turning it up. So hopefully, you know, between, well, between last week and this week. So hopefully this isn't absolutely ear-shattering. Uh, I don't think I think don't t think I turned it up on like half a decibel from last episode. So I think we are okay. I don't think it's gonna be so dramatic. Um, I mean, it sounds kind of similar to the game volume. You probably don't hear the game volume though. Similar to the game volume. You probably okay. It's probably okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's okay. I'm going to assume that it's not absolutely ear-shattering. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and, and, and go. Uh, we've just got a new house. We've got a new house, the long house here. Uh, we've gotten everything. We've gotten some research started up. We're going to have a, we're gonna have Swift here. We, she's already kind of uh, down the research tree a little bit. Uh, that should help out a lot. And now let's have... The rest of everybody else also help when it comes to uh, maybe getting some more money. You can make some more money while they're researching. Uh, so this might be another little bit of mining this episode, at least a little bit. Just so that we can make some money back now that we just bought a big, big investment, uh, big real estate investment, basically. Let's have everyone run at the same speed again. Let's get everyone in the same spot and then we'll run them off. Again, I don't want to really kind of break up the formation here, if I can help it. It might be a little dark for everybody, I don't know. Let's see. Let's get... So, load can stand in the middle. And I think we have just enough people to do one side and the other. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, so... Load if he comes right here, and then we can once we can build beds, we can work on that. Till then, we're we mostly have blunt damage. I think we have, yeah, mostly blunt damage. I think uh, so. We should be okay. It's funny if anyone's if anyone's curious just how much I've raised it. I ultimately raised it from our original stream, I think like 10 and a half decibels. So, <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm not necessarily, like, I'm not like a sound engineer, so to speak. So, I'm not really sure how, like, big of a difference that is. I don't know if that's, I don't, I think, like, it's, in, like, a, a lawnmower is something somewhere around 60 to 120 or 100 somewhere between 60 to 180 i think a lawnmower is somewhere on that sound so i don't know <laughs> hopefully hopefully i'm not really loud if i'm really loud i expect that just kind of like when i was really low i expect probably people are going to mention it too so let's hope let's hope uh let's hope we're doing all right Oop, we still have some building materials too, so I guess we could use that to. Uh, oh, we, you know what we need to do is we need to also fast forward a little bit. Okay, because otherwise it's going to take forever. So let's go get, ahead, get that up, and I'm going to actually move these building materials into his inventory. We also need to cook the. Uh, we need to get these raw meats cooked. Otherwise, people are going to start getting pretty hungry. Swift is going to get pretty hungry already because they're not near, uh, they're not near load, is, who's the one carrying all the food. You can throw all the food in one place. There we go. Also, fun, fun fact, if you shift-click, 
you'll uh, grab a stack of items. You'll you'll, pick, you'll move an entire stack of items. I'll show you when this one gets to two. Here we go. You see, you can do shift right click uh, for that. A little fun tip though, make it where you don't have to click so much. I actually, sometimes, my so the mouse I use, it has a little bit of a, like a, a it'll double click if I left click sometimes. Sometimes that helps me out in games because the mouse actually being messed up will sometimes have me double, you know, basically double tap something, especially in a shooting game when I didn't necessarily, inti- wasn't expecting to. But then sometimes it'll end up shooting. So sometimes, sometimes it helps. Sometimes I end up uh, clicking out of a menu and shooting someone straight in the face in <laughs> in games where left click is shoot and talk. So I'm sure if someone's out there, someone out there might have ha- might be have had similar experiences with with uh, mice. But uh, one thing I've been playing recently is Outer Worlds. And that's a fun. That's a fun one. It's just when we've gone gone off the Epic Store, so that's another thing to do. Ooh, we can do public sale. We can also sell. Now, fun fact for selling stuff: I believe food and medicine sells the best. I want to say I think food and medicine, medicine maybe even more. But that was just from my research. I don't you know that that and to give credit where credits due, I think that was just all all across the Kinchi Reddit's. Uh, where like everywhere they I don't know exactly I think it was like a whole group effort of everyone trying to find out how to actually sell things worthwhile I don't believe they'll actually buy weapons I think it's things that they can they can actually use like food and um, and medicine which medicine you can't make inside of town food you could kind of make it inside of town but the thing is uh you really are better off not worrying. Like inside a town, you can just run it. You know, if you technically station somebody, like, you can make a little outpost if you wanted to, which could be really fun. Like have a some recruits just station themselves in certain towns, have them kind of on a food ration, and just kind of have them sleeping. <laughs> just watch out! Don't forget them. Otherwise, you'll end up going back and being like, "Oh, I have a bunch of dead bodies basically piled up in some house that I owned in some town that I went to a long time ago." Yeah, Swift's getting close to getting real hungry. Now, once we build storage, I think that we can get them to automatically do some of this stuff. I think the first thing we should do is build an ore storage box. Just to see if we can. Because if we can, that saves a lot of more micromanagey work. Which will save time, ultimately. And, and you know, in a stream, that's kind of what you're you know, focused on. Not wasting a huge amount of your time. Oh, they're all running around like crazy. What's going on? Oh, I forgot. Bunch of uh, dead hungry bandits here. Oh, some of them are in recovery comas. I think we helped out a few of them. But as you can hear, the 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 bugs. I won't. It's probably an annoying no- noise to some of you, so I don't want to. I don't want to get too close to them, especially with now that I up just up the volume. Now I haven't upped game volume. In fact, actually, hold on. I might be dramatically separate now, so I'm going to actually raise the game volume, especially since in Kinchi. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to have it down only by... I normally have game volume down like 17, but I'm going to keep it at down 10 now. Hopefully that, that comes off well to you guys. So it should be down as much as I've raised myself. Or a little bit... A little bit less because I'm like up 10.5 now and it's down like 10.5. Kinchi, you really don't need that big of a, of a of a sound gap because so little sound is played. Oop. Okay, so you're just saying hi. So let's build let's build this. Uh, oh, let's sell this stuff first because otherwise we're just gonna be really hit way down. We can also buy some food. Storing food is also not a bad idea because food doesn't really rot in this. At least I've never noticed food rot. That's kind of weird. Just don't know what's going on there. Some stones kind of sprinkled in the air. Probably just a small little cosmetic bug. There we go. Let's get load over here to sell our stuff.
Oop, uh, and just not enough. Just a bit short, but we can buy a bunch of cooked vegetables and dried meat and make up for that. Sell that. And now let's go to let's go to Swift over here. Oh, there's some more fighting going on out there. Probably more hungry bandits. Yeah, I figured. I really want to get some fighting in. I really, really do. I noticed they're wearing turtlenecks, I think, underneath. Who are these guys? These are sentinels. They're wearing turtle, not turtle. Sorry, I was said turtlenecks. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Sleeveless shirts. They're wearing sleeveless shirts, it looks like, underneath. I really have to see one of them get knocked over to really tell. Oh my gosh, that guy lost an arm. And they're really going at it over there. So we're just going to mainly focus on getting our stuff worked out. I don't want to get involved in all that stuff quite yet. Okay, they ate some of the cooked vegetables. Now, I want to build, I think, storage. Here we go. Um, animal feeder would be kind of cool, but not really right now. Or not really useful right now since we don't have any animals yet. We want... Food storage boxes. Food store. Here we go. Is general storage two? But I think they won't automatically run to that. Oh, we don't want food. Hold on. We want storage or. So I, from my understanding, is this general storage is good, but not like... I think you can't automate it. I don't think you can automate it. So we need to be careful with that. I think if we're going to put anything in general storage, it's just going to be kind of like a... Hmm. Oh, we'll put this. We could put this on the roof since it won't affect the efficiency of anything. Sleeping beds, we probably want to put on the roof too. Okay, we got to walk up the stairs there. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get by this. However, save time having the ore storage here. Because then they can just run up, put it there, and then they're good. Now, I want to turn this around long ways. That, that way, I feel like they can actually get by. There we go. Oh, no. I, I messed it up by turning a little bit. Ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, so this will have a little mining town going on. Hopefully, they'll automatically travel there. Otherwise, we may be in some trouble. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, we'll have everyone come here. Ooh, why are they all set to, like, attacking enemies? Shouldn't be. Okay, come here and do that. Come on, throw some stuff there. Oh, hold on. It's iron. I need iron plates. I don't have iron plates. I mean, where's it? Do we have a tech shop here? I bet we don't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you don't have a tech shop or a travel shop, I don't think. So we're going to have to go get that stuff. Okay, so... I think we're going to have to get everybody to run together... And go to... I'm going to leave Swift. I don't think she'll starve while we're gone. Worst case scenario, we're going to have her go buy some food. I'm going to leave her to, to finish off research. As long as there's still research left. Is there still research left? Otherwise, we're wasting your time. No, there's not research left. Okay. Never mind. Okay, you come with us. Turn off taunt on everybody. So, if anyone's just new to the stream, if this is kind of new to everybody, um, note that what we're doing is kind of, we're going to be... What we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, try to, at least, at least try to get... A base kind of up and going and having kind of almost like a mixed faction of the two Ocranite factions. 
Not everyone's running at the same speed. Hold on. Get that turned on for everybody. I think they were they were in the house when we changed that setting. I think Blister Hill is probably the farther run because we probably have to run. I don't think we can run directly toward Blister Hill, but we can run directly toward Stack, I think. Uh, for the most part, directly at. Worst case scenario, this is going to be an exercise. We do ha If we do need to make food, we can start a fire and cook the rest of that survival food. Got our little band of, uh, what do you call it? A little band of, uh, Ocranites here. Let's see. I think that the, um, the main challenge, I think, at this point is going to be trying to continue to get people. Because so we've been kind of doing well in recruitment because of just where we've been recruiting. We may start running a little bit into a wall uh, once we actually um, get all the recruits from the Holy Nation cities. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. So basically, okay, now remember when I've mentioned about rebirth and things like that? Who are they talking to? Who are they talking to? <laughs> They're talking to somebody. But generally, okay, so basically the way that the, uh, now, like, you know, like, if we went in here, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. So, it says slave shop for this building, but it's really, I don't believe, actually a shop. Because I don't believe they can actually sell, I don't think Holy Nation can actually sell slaves. I think it's, they only can accept slaves. In order, they only accept slaves, and I think all non-human slaves. I think I'm not entirely sure because I think that they they can only be used for. I think the like Holy Nation has it where they can only be used for construction or something like that. They have to do something that doesn't make a profit or something. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've been rebirthed, but they mentioned it. Ooh, out of bounds. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. Got gotcha. you. You don't want me to be in there. Who are they talking to? Who are they talking to? They keep saying, wait, you, you escaped from rebirth. Get him, get who? Oh, these guys over here? Now, I don't know why there's a bunch of human ones. I'm kind of exp I'm kind of strange. They have something called lower servants. I mean, maybe there's more to maybe more to it than I thought. I, from my understanding, it was only hold on. What's going on here? Nomads. Oh no. I mean, maybe maybe if it's someone like works with like if maybe if like they think someone's working with like a uh, narco or something like that. Maybe they call them narco or something like that. Like, which is basically like anything influenced by skeletons or stuff like that. They kind of have this idea that... Hold on. Do I need to feed them? Obviously. Do they eat a lot? Your ones ain't so bad. They'll eat more as they grow. If they can, especially if they're carrying... But if they're carrying a bag on their backs, you can carry more food around with you. Show me what you got. I could buy a... Oh, uh, well, these are all Garus. I really don't want a Garu. I want a... Preferably a pack bull. Oh, a bunch of goats. They got a bunch of goats. Oh, uh, we're just a bit shy of getting a pack bull. The reason why I don't want a Garu... Garus are good. Don't get me wrong. They have the more, they have the most space. But they just don't... Uh, they don't... They don't... Uh, they carry a lantern. And, and that, uh, to me, I think... When they're carrying stuff, they carry a lantern. And to me, that, that, that makes it somewhat difficult. Don't want to use them. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen them with humans. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that's referring, I'm guessing that that, at least I had a, if I had a guess based off Rebirth, then they must have helped out. They must have helped out in uh, non-human races. 
Because I've never actually seen them actually grab human races. Like, I haven't seen them grab uh, Scorchlanders, and I haven't seen them grab uh, humans. As you can tell, because we've been, you know, we've had people get knocked out in their towns. So that's the first time I've seen them actually going after humans. Or noticed... I'm assuming, and I, I know that they'll go after you if you go into something called, like, Narco's Nest or Narco's something. It's basically like a place with a bunch of ancient tech you can go to. So I'm guessing they either had to be a tech hunter of some kind or something like that. Because I've never seen them, I've never seen them go after humans in that way. Before. So that's a, that's a new thing. You learn new things every day. Okay, we're going to end up having to stay the night. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook up the rest of our food. We'll do it right here. That looks like a nice little camp. Maybe the Holy Nation will do that, but then the others don't. The Flotsam Ninjas don't, maybe. Maybe maybe that those were with Flotsam Ninjas. I didn't see if they were all... I didn't see what gender they are, because I know the Flotsam Ninja, lin, ninja leans... Uh, uh, like, if you have a male character, basically, they, they don't trust you, they don't trust you uh, immediately. And if you're a holy nation, they don't trust you that much if you're a female character. So maybe they were flotsam ninjas? I don't know. We'll see. Because we're kind of trying to, I guess, try to be kind of a a unified Ocranite team in this particular case. So I'm not entirely sure. Also, it's a really nice way of getting to be able both to use dexterity and, uh, what do we call it, weapons. Because dexterity weapons don't really work well with heavy armor. Because they give you huge dex negatives. So at least that will be a fun bit we can... Uh... Now I wonder... I think cooking... Hold on, what does cooking do? I think we get a bonus to cooking. I don't think, uh, this ca I don't think camping counts as cooking though. <laughs> I'm trying to think the camping doesn't count as cooking. Let's see. Let's put down there. Let's throw it on there. And we got one more we're waiting for. So if you want to be friendly with both teams, you're going to have to ha make sure that you have... Like, I don't think that either will attack you without one or the other. Like, I think you can have, like, an all-female team and still be okay with the Holy Nation. You're going to get, like, kind of, like, a, like, kind of, um, search more often and things like that if you have an all-female team. But if you have an all, uh, and I think if, if you're having an all, if you have an all-male team, it's basically the same way with the uh, Flotsam Ninja. I'm, I'm not sure. It's been, like, uh, I think a few months, it's, it's been a while since i played, but I've played this game, like, I think, like, 300 hours before but I know some people have played it thousands and there's probably thousands of content like I've never I've never actually done anything with the crab raiders I've seen stuff about the crab tournament and things like that but like I've never really even messed with them I've all I've pretty much almost entirely avoided them oh police station oh that means we can turn people in hold on Oh, uh, they've already picked up people. They have a police station here. We could also get some people to train here. I don't think police stations are off limits. And I think check allow every and and just again, I think I've pretty much gone over this before, but I'll go over it again. Everybody sneak. Okay, so let's get. Some people working on some of the stuff. Okay, so let's have you work here. Let's have all our heavy armor guys kind of working on this. And you, you get this. Here, go over this side so you're not so close. I think we'll be okay. I don't know if they can see me from here. Our light armor people would be the only ones I'd risk getting closer. 
Oop. Okay, they might not like me doing this. They might not care. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Okay, the Hungry Bandit is just kind of going for it. You know what? I'm going to actually try to heal him up. Or we'll have uh, Swift do it right here. Swift's kind of the one we've been doing. Uh, we can attack him provoked or stealth KO him. Let's first aid him. Stealth KO sometimes gets weird. I don't want to accidentally somehow get the guards called on me because I'm stealth KOing somebody. Oh, he's he's gone. Hold on, he's committing a crime now. Hold on, we might be able to do something with him. Okay, hold on. Let's pick him up real quick. I think he's about to go down. Okay, hold on. As soon as he goes down, pick him up. Do we get him? Yes, we did. Oh, we can't. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, you kind of get hazed a bit. But besides that, I think you're. I don't think they ever outright attack. Could be wrong. From my understanding, they never outright attack. Can I not talk to him at all? Maybe they don't. They, maybe it's possible that they just will not talk to them at all. Oh, he's got a bounty on his head. By the Shek Kingdom. The Shek won him. So the Shek basically hate these guys because... Hold on. Put in. Let's see if that affected my reputation. I, sometimes like, when they're unconscious, it kind of doesn't always seem to affect anything that negatively. So we're still negative seven. So. up? I can't split it. Okay, I don't have any more first aid. Let's try to let's see what how things go with him. He's dying, but you don't have any you don't have any injuries, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. The one is gone. Okay, okay. Let's get let's get out of there. I don't know if they're talking to us or not. But I don't want to risk it. This maybe that maybe it's just because this because we had Swift and the new in there. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there are some places that they don't don't allow them at all. Let's see, do you have any work? Bail out, okay, we're not here to bail out a friend. Let's see, nope. Oh, okay, hold on. One rotten fruit will eventually spoil the bunch. I'm guessing he's referring to the fact that we have... So, it, he's. I think he's possibly hazing us just for having, the, having we call it, people in our group. Let's see. I don't know. It could be that it could be that that happens anyway. Let's try to let's let's have at least three people at a time. Uh, while while we're uh, whoop, we're sneaking. I don't think they'll like that. Okay, we can train from a distance. We'll send these people in to kind of train from a distance, and then we'll. Uh, and then we'll, uh, when it's daylight, we can buy our, 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 uh, the thing we've been wanting. The iron plate. Let's get a new in here. Hopefully they don't care. It could be that, because he said the Inquisitorium isn't a place for them. So it's possible that it is just them, that the reason why they're not wanting them here. Yellow should be fine. Okay, let's fast forward. I think... 
Hiroda might be too high ranked now. He might have actually gotten good enough. Yeah, melee attack five. Okay, Hiroda, time your time on the thing is over. How is Griffin's definitely too high? Uh, let's get Bard. He's, I think Bard was the most recent person we got, so he's probably got the least stats. Three. Hold on, what's yours? We need to do the ones with the least stats first. Three. And then... Four. So, okay, Bard and then Swift. There we go. It's a little tricky way you can kind of train. They don't typically like you training on their stuff. But this is a good way to get around it. I don't like stealing in video games, but uh, I have no problem training with training equipment in video games that we might not supposed to be having access to yet. Especially when we just have time and time to wait. Oh, hold on. Do we dismantle that? I just realized. Do we just leave a campfire out there? We have just left a campfire somewhere. No, we didn't. We didn't. I don't like to messy up the world too much. I don't like to leave like a bunch of stuff all over the place. How how is, how are we doing on skill or load here? His melee attack's way too high. Is he getting anything from this? He can't be. Yeah, max skill level. Okay, so yeah, just get out of here. We need we need Swift in here. Okay, it's getting daylight, so we don't have much time to do it. Oh, they see it. They see them. How did they see them? They're the one furthest back in the darkness. Is it the light? What's going on? Move over to him. Kind of messed up his. Oh, hold on. We can, we can like see one of them. Okay, that's private equipment. Okay, they, they've kind of figured them both out. Sorry, you, you're both done with your training equipment now. I think a new actually reached melee attack. No, they have melee attack nine. They're they have way too high for this. I think only one person ended up really getting the training they needed. Get everyone kind of sneak around to get a little bit better at it. That's another thing you can do. Generally, they don't care. We're just all practicing mobile squats here. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Mobile squats. Not taking anything. Just really, really acting weird. <laughs> okay, we got armor opened up now. Uh, let's find the... Okay, that should be the shop we need, right? General shop. It's very likely the one that has the materials we need in it. Probably should stop sneaking right outside of it. The main reason why I, I want to get good, uh, have at least decent sneak, is uh, you you thank you'll thank yourself for having decent sneak when you run in, when you, ever you run into a beak thing, because then you can find some other way around it without running. Because you're not gonna outrun a beak thing unless you're a hiver with with cybernetic legs. <laughs> you are not gonna get away from them. Go ahead, throw those back in here. Uh, iron plate. Let's grab a few iron plates, actually. Just for the sake of that we don't need it later. Let's grab some of this. There we go. Again, i rather not have to worry about that later. Okay. Now let's all run back to Bad Teeth here. This is all we needed. How are we doing on food? We're doing kind of okay on food. We go food th through food much faster, unfortunately. Oh, there's a lot of fighting going on. I'd like to get involved in the fight, but really I think it's one-sided at the moment. I don't want to take anything off the Hungry Bandits because I would like to get them to the point of where I could just talk to them and decide whether I want to fight them. 
So if you if you're friendly enough with them, if, you, if they don't absolutely hate you, you can basically uh, offer to give them money, and it'll just leave you alone. You can kind of do the same with dust bandits. The only thing with dust bandits is typically to me, I feel like it's harder to explain. Like I, I, I kind of have a harder time just letting them off with giving them money than giving a bunch of starving people who are only attacking you because they're hungry. Oh. Who are they after? They're after these guys. Yeah, what's going on with here? Romer, hold on. Who are they talking to? Zim? Uh, Divine Blessings Brother, welcome to Sanctified Domain. Oh, does Zim have a book? Uh, welcome to Sanctified Domain, Homeland and Security, Homeland and Secu Sanctuary. To all human humans, pure of blood, darkness looms at every uh, corner of the land. But you are safe here, brother, where you belong under the Holy Lord Phoenix himself. Watch, blessed be his name. Okay, so, love and devotion. Okay, so, be sure to make use of refuge, uh, refuge of the Holy si Hallowed Cities. Okay. And ration pack. See? Free stuff. And it's funny that they say that because one thing I've never understood is they mentioned that, but they they accept all the humans. So I don't really know what they mean by humans of They don't because they don't I, as far as I know, they don't make a distinction of humans character wise. I don't know if that's more of a just for mechanics sake. But as far as I know, that they don't they don't have anything against Scorchlanders. Which would be the only other one than Greenlanders. And you see Greenlanders everywhere. For uh, the Holy Nation, but they don't seem to have anything wrong with Scorchlanders either. So I don't really know. It's funny. I think I've mentioned before what kind of my main playthrough, like a lot of my playthroughs, have been trying to save Shark <laughs> from self imploding, and and you know sticking around kind of the Holy Nation and kind of just like an area just to kind of like a far off area to get. Uh, free rations for a while before just venturing off and getting all the ancient texts. So, whoop. like with the tech hunters and getting crossbows, because crossbows have been one of my favorite weapons in this game, which I've kind of limited myself to not using in this one. Because I don't think I can actually get crossbows officially with you with the Holy Nation. I don't think, I, even though they have crossbows on their base, I don't believe that they're really allowed to have them. And you could technically buy them from Shark. You don't have to buy them from uh, something like that. If we can make crossbows without needing ancient books, we'll do it. But if, if we need ancient books to make crossbows, then that's a no. And they use mounted crossbows, so I, I can only imagine that they're okay with crossbows. I don't think they have something against it. They do have something against prosthetics, though. The way I see it, it's probably anything with electricity. It's like the really high-level forging equipment they're not a fan of. Like, or by that I mean is they don't like you getting the ancient books. So there may be an electrical element that they're not fans of. Oh, they're guarding my little house here. Let's run back here. Yeah, we really don't want to get in a fight with them because then they might tear down our building. Who are, who are running over there? Human mercenaries, I think. Yep. Okay, well, we want to build. Let's see. Oh, we want to finish our storage first, I guess. Everybody help finish the, the storage. Everybody run up here and then we can do it. There you go. Easy, easy peasy when everybody does it. All right, so I'm not really sure. And that's raw iron. Is that an, just an iron ore storage, or it can only hold one kind of ore? So I'm assuming it can. It's gonna hold just whichever one we put into it first, maybe. Maybe I didn't notice the distinction. Hold on, storage. No copper. Then we have we did iron, and we, now we need a copper one. 
Well, we need everyone to kind of move out of the way first. Storage and copper. Storage copper, there we go. Now, copper is not something we need a ton of just for personal use. It's pretty much going to mostly just be for sale. wonder how close I can get it. Hold on. Let's see how close I can get it. To there. It's hard to tell necessarily which one's causing the problem. I think that's probably okay. You want to tight, kind of get in there as tight as possible. Because otherwise you're going to run out of space. Do we, can we actually build beds or something like that? Hold on. Oh, it's going super slow-mo. Hold on. Uh, camp beds. Which we, need, we would need sleeping bags for. We don't have that. No, we do not have, we do not have that yet. Okay, good to know. Could build, a, could build a water tank. Don't need one here. So we'll think about crossbows. We'll think about them. I might end up using crossbows if if, if I feel, feel like they, it makes sense for them to use it. Let's fast forward. There we go. Okay, now let's see if they will automatically do it. I, that may be too far away. That might just simply be way too far away for them to recognize as a uh, as a way of getting iron. Ooh and copper to the base. I would not be surprised if it is considered too far away. Um, we'll see. We'll have, we'll have a group go over and do the iron and a group do over, over and do the copper. And let's see if they, hold on. And if we right, if we right click and shift, then they'll do that job kind of automatically. So we'll, hold on, we'll throw, this is the copper one. And then this one, well, we do not want to throw a load on there. There we go. And then this will also be a good way of getting them exercise if in, ca in case they are um, actually gonna do this. I would necess I would actually probably give it to load if I knew that he could actually pick up all the stuff. I feel like he would it wouldn't work out the way I was I was I'm thinking otherwise. Let's see how it goes. Let's give it a little bit. Let's leave load here. Now we could leave a food barrel here. Oh hold on, where's what's Bard doing? Oh, I just realized. Hold on, no no no, hold on. We want Bard to do that, not Swift. The Swift is going to be research. So we need Bard to be the one doing the other thing. Yeah, let's let's get that corrected. I want to see if they automatically come back. Let's see if they bring the iron back. Let's watch him. Oh, it's raining. I like the, I like the sounds in the game. Okay, let's watch. The iron's gonna be done first. Let's see if they actually do what we're hoping for them to do. This would also be a good way of getting them strength, and also a good way of getting us money because we just, as they store it, take it straight to the shops. Okay, we got all three working there. Consider it an experiment, some experimentation. Let's see. Oh, yep, someone's carrying it back. Yep, we got it working. Now let me just need to make sure copper does too. It's gonna be a lot longer for copper. If that's the case, and we can get some good amount of storage going with these two. Get some serious money worked up. Because now we don't have to don't have to micromanage as much. It saves more our time than game time. If that makes sense. Let's see if they do it. Yep. And someone will be getting strength each time, too. Now, that is terrible uh, output, so let's not worry about that. We could set somebody to it, but probably best not to, to be totally honest. All right, so let's check on load here. 
Oh, the, okay, so Swift, we do not want you there. We want you down here because you will be research person. If someone needs, re if someone needs something researched, that's what you, you can do that. We don't have any books, though. I don't believe books are out loud. I think it's only... I think it's only the... Uh, I think it's only... Ancient books that are out loud. Oh, a trader. I wonder if they'll... Hold on, I don't think that's the one the kind that will trade with us. He's, he's not wanting to talk by me hanging it over him. So I, I have a feeling that... Yeah, he's not the kind that want to talk to us. Okay, let's see how we're doing on money. The capacity can fill up to 100. Yeah, pause it, otherwise we'll just put it all back. I'm surprised he threw it in his, uh... Gun. Come on. We can probably find some way of getting this to work. Hold on. Um. Let's see. There we go. Let's go ahead and sell that at the bakery. We haven't messed around with the bakery's money supply yet. So let's go do some stuff there. We're still now that we've got town, we still haven't named our faction. Let's see. Okay, that's probably the baker, right? See how much money they have. I have figured they probably wouldn't have a ton. Wonder if you'll sell bread for like a discount though, no? Not really. Not really. I just really fish are definitely not worth it at this point uh, over here. I think it's by the sea, it's a lot more worth it. I don't think you can actually get fish though. I think it's just like a to replicate the idea of getting fish. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Actually, no, we sold it all for money. I feel like that sold for a lot more than I, a lot less than I was expecting. There's a well, but we can't use it. All right, so let's think if there's anything else we want to build. Food, we want a food storage if we can. Hmm. trying to think exactly what kind of storage we want we have lights torch posts we could throw up some torch posts get some light in here going on in here won't be electrical lights but at least there'll be eight, some lights let's get a light there get a light there not perfectly lined up I think Right along this line, I think a little bit outside of it. There we go. Not perfectly lined up, but whatever. Not even perfect here. Um, I want to. I don't want to use too much of our building materials just on lights. Hmm. I could build a stone processor out of town, but I don't think that'll work. They would just get attacked. So I think we just need to build lights. We want a light by our research. Um, our research uh, bench. Because that will be uh, very much useful. It will be very useful. 
because uh, otherwise it'll take forever to research anything. Um, I don't know. Is that lined up? More like that. Nope. There we go. It's closer. It's not perfect. We're not here for perfect. There we go. You want to be playing Kinchi if you want. Uh, you want to be playing Kinchi, a world where uh, you know a, a setting in which everything's not perfect. If you were going for perfect, Let's go ahead, get load to work all this stuff out. What are you doing? He's running all the way around. Hold on, you gotta run all the way around to build that. Weird. Keep letting the uh, stuff fill up. The uh, our 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 coffers of metals. <laughs> and let's see. And then up here. Ooh, going outside again? Oh no, he's running inside. He's running inside. Let's open that up there. And then over here. A little weirdly centered, but that'll do. So we got a little our little lights going on. Oh, hold on. I was gonna say that one's uh that one was acting a little weird. Let's go up here. Let's go ahead and get any more of this uh material we got and try to sell it. Ooh, oh, I forgot. I gotta pause it, otherwise he won't pick it up. And let's get some food going. I think we need a food barrel. Yeah, we do. Def we definitely need a food barrel because that way storage. So that way everyone will come to eat at the food uh, at the food store. Uh, let's put that somewhat close inside the door. That way everyone can just run to the door and get it. There you go. Try to get in, in much as in, in the corner as possible. Oh, I got rid of it. Uh, or we put it behind the stairs. I don't know. Let's try to put it. No, I, I kind of like the corner idea. I think we're also carrying all the stuff, so that's slowing us down pretty heavily. Not to mention it's like pitch black inside this building. Okay, there we go. We'll have to make use of like a lot of the torch post lighting. Because um, since electricity is going to be kind of a problem. Because they don't actually use, from what I can tell, they don't, well... Yeah, they don't actually, they use all natural lighting. In terms of natural lighting, I mean like fire, natural... Like, uh, they didn't, are naturalistic. I guess the bar is an exception, but I don't know if that's a a willing exception or if that's just, like, a no other... Met like that's the one sign they had for player convenience. Oh, no. I did He just put everything up. I need you to sell that. Let's go to the bar here. That's the closest one. Right outside the door. Easiest one to sell to. Let's go ahead and sell it to. Oh, hold on. Uh, for a second, I thought there was extra recruit. But it's not. We need to get some more recruits. That would be actually a good, a good use of our time. Also, buy as much food as possible. Turned a pretty nice profit. I think the problem is our ten, the only problem though is is that our uh, food stores. The more people we have, the more that even if they're mining, the more we're gonna have some trouble getting enough food for everybody. There we go. 
Don't know why he ran back up here for. Got some. We got some light going on by the research bench. We could try to fit something in there. I think what's going to happen is as the research bench gets bigger, I we'll have to work on stuff with that. I think we made a nifty little uh, what do you call it, impact on the world here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably wait for it to fill up a little bit more. And I think we're close to pretty much... We don't have much time, time left in the stream, so I want to probably just fast forward a little bit. Get some more stuff made. I think everyone, make sure everyone's not starving. I think everyone, it, I think everyone is kind of taking care of them. So I think we might go around and get some food in the town. I think we'll buy up all the food in the town. Cooked vegetables I really like in the uh, in the game because it, it just has the best, to me, it has the best ratio next to survival food, but there's just not enough uh, dried meat to use it exclusively. If there was, I'd use dry meat exclusively. <laughs> oh, I think he's taking it back to his base. Meat wraps aren't bad either. I, if I remember correctly, I don't think meat wraps are actually bad. Is that price? Let me check. Could be wrong. I, but from what I remember, I think meat wraps are actually pretty decent. Uh, for 50, for, hold on, let's... Hmm. I mean, it might be worth it in my case. One thing is, like, a, what do you call it, a ration kit, which I think we've already eaten, is, like, a thousand, and it gives you, like, a hundred and fifty. So when you think about it, it's really not... It's really not that much more efficient. Hmm. So we'll get the other stuff first. So that's 50 for 600. We'll remember that. 50 for 600. The good thing about stack, uh, not stack, but bad teeth is they have so many bars. So so many places to buy food from. So it's good if you have a really big uh, city presence. So that's 25 for 200. 93 okay so it's not that that bad in comparison it's basically double for a little past double food cube is 700 for 75 though so food cube is probably better than meat meat wrap for 15 more or for not 15 but 25 more which is basically a whole nother one of these so i would almost skip up to food cube if you had to so let's buy this here. Let's pause. Oh, hold on. Let's pause real quick. Buy all this. We want to get all the food we can. Let's turn it in. We can get the money back from them pretty easily. All we need to do is just sell them a bunch of our uh, metal. It's great when you start getting automated. It you know you really don't, you, especially in towns. It starts becoming easy in some ways. Like easy to kind of get your money, your money machine up and going. Now, surprisingly, foods, or not food, but our, our metal machine isn't going super well. What's going up there? Our mining, uh... Is it, is it just everyone's getting hungry, so they're running away? Like, I think it's uh, they're just getting hungry, so they're running back, and so they're not mining all the stuff yet. But I think we had fun. I think we, this one was a fun episode. I think we're still getting everything worked out in terms of gear and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright. So see you everybody. Have a good one. Bye.